What up, what up, and welcome to the first and possibly only episode of Yo, Is This Fitness? Where the answer is probably no. But I am going to try to teach you something today, and you can tell I'm ready and qualified for education because I got glasses on, which means I'm smart. Doug's got on a headband, which means it's fitness. And I got a hat on, which means I didn't like the way my hair looked today. Now, I don't want to bury the lead here for you. What we're going to be doing is talking about my favorite protein bars that I have pretty much every day called Soul Good from Sun Warrior. Get it? Soul. Sun. If you don't get it, it means you're racist. Also, we're going to be rinsing it down with the brand new Rockstar flavor, Marshmallow. Hmm. Does that sound like a good idea? No. But guess what? They were ready to be on the show because they even got the word vegan in big old letters on this bad boy. You know, I was saying before that uh, the stuff that I normally have on the show is stuff I don't really eat, but I really do eat these. And that doesn't mean that they're really good for you, but they are a good protein bar if that's something that you're looking for. The uh, non-vegan equivalent, I guess, would be like a Quest bar. You know, and the macros are pretty much the same. Macro, meaning macronutrients. Uh, protein, carbohydrates, and fat. Quest bars and these have 7 grams of fat. These have 19 grams of protein. I think Quest bars have like 20. And they have uh, between like 23 and 27 grams of carbohydrates. So it's a good little snack for you. As like, I like to have them as a little breakfast if I'm on the go. Let's say, let's say I'm waking up a little late. Late for my flight to go off and do a movie because I'm very famous and in high demand for motion pictures. And I just want to get ready quick and I don't have time to make a smoothie. You know, you guys don't want to see me make a smoothie, I don't think. If you do, leave a comment below. But I don't think that's what you're looking for. You're looking for the snacks, the easy, quick, entry-level things to get you going for the day. So that's what this is. This one's the salted caramel flavor of the Soul Good Bars. Now, it comes in a variety of flavors, but I really like the salted caramel one. And there's other protein bars that I like, too. The one most notably, I think, uh, is called No Cow. Get it? I like these, they just taste better, and you'll see why here in a second, just from the visual. I'm gonna crack this bad boy open for you. Look at that swirl! Oh man, you pop this in the microwave for like 10 seconds, melts it all over. But this is a salted caramel flavor. It even, here, smell it. Go ahead. Yeah, see, that smells good, right? Oh, taste good too. And of course, taste being the most important thing here. We want it to taste good. We don't want it to be a chore. And this is a great little quick snack. Although it's been harder and harder for me to find these. So maybe that's why I'm making this video. Because I need you all to demand some warrior keep making them. They aren't paying me for whatever reason. But I uh, keep on paying them. Check those out. The Sun Warrior Soul Good Bar. Now, again, protein bar, right? If you don't know anything else about fitness, and you probably don't, you at least know protein is involved in building muscle. Now that brings us to the palate cleanser. The old power drink, the Rockstar Exdurance. Alright, now Exdurance, even though it existed years before, clearly made to kind of compete with the new craze, the bang culture that we got going on. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't drink energy drinks, power drinks, Rockstars for energy, or because I think that it's got any sort of supplements in it or something like that. I drink because they taste good. And if you like bang because you think it tastes good, that's weird, because it doesn't. But if you're drinking it because you think that you're getting like branch chain amino acids and creatine and things like that in it, then I'm here to just let you know that they are selling you a bag of goods, my friend, all right? The cool thing that these new cans do is they actually break down for you what the amount of branch chain amino acids are in each can. So protein, we were talking about that earlier, made up of 20 amino acids. Uh, nine of them are essential, meaning your body doesn't naturally make them, but you can get them from foods. Three of which of those essential ones are branch chain ones. And they aid in muscle recovery, protein synthesis, things like that. You don't need to take a BCAA, branch chain amino acid supplement, if you don't want to. You can definitely get it from foods. There's benefits of doing that, but we're not talking about supplements here. We're talking about these drinks that are claimed that they have them. So normally when you buy a BCAA supplement, it's got like seven grams of BCAAs, okay? So that's 7,000 milligrams. This has altogether 300 milligrams of all three BCAAs. So that's, you know, a small percentage. And bang, don't even tell you how much they got in it. So it's in a proprietary blend. So please just don't be buying this garbage, I mean, <laughs> this drink, because you think that it's giving you all these extra things. It's just a garbage drink like everything else is. Now people love to tell me that I shouldn't drink power drinks. 
Normally in between sips of coffee or drags off a cigarette while they're planning their pizza order. But can I just have one thing, please? But one thing that I always do, always, this is a fact, is I drink one of these full of water. It's 32 ounces of water before I have a power drink, because you gotta stay hydrated. I know you hear that a lot, but remember Mailman Mike that used to be on this show? You notice you ain't seen him in a while? Yeah, that's because he died of dehydration. And that's a fact, you can look it up. Google Mailman Mike dehydration, you'll find an obituary. Send some flowers. The interesting thing about this is that it's marshmallow flavored, right? And that brings us to why it says vegan on the can, wherever it says it, I forgot already. Hold on, it's uh, pop, 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 there. Bring and bang back again to it. There was a controversy a while back that bang, specifically energy drinks like it, power drinks similar to it, may have used real taurine instead of synthetic taurine. Taurine is something that comes from originally bulls. And people were under the impression that these companies were willing to spend all this extra money to get real taurine instead of just making synthetic stuff. Give me a break. So Rockstar was like, hey, don't worry about it. We definitely aren't spending extra money on our product. This shiz is vegan. Also, marshmallows, like we talked about in the Lucky Charms, moon Oreos, typically not vegan. So I'm excited to try this because most of the reviews that I've seen on this, people do not like them. And I love liking things that other people don't like, which is why I like myself so much. So here we go. I'm going to crack this bad boy open. Now, for those of you who are wondering, well, what's Doug doing here? Excuse me. You think Doug doesn't know about fitness? You think you can get that kind of arm symmetry just standing around? Give me a break. Smells very cream soda y, to be honest with you. And I do like cream soda. Oh, yeah, that rocks. That rocks, it rolls, it struts, and it strolls. Oh, yeah. Now, that's actually just good marketing. You call it marshmallow, you make it taste like cream soda. People are going to look at marshmallow and be like, oh, I got to try that. And look at that color scheme. Look at how me, Doug, the can, and my hat all are... This is actually a sting hat. Not to be confused with a king hat. Now, I don't know what I thought it was going to taste like. I guess a nice warm campfire. Maybe that guy from uh, Ghostbusters, you know, he's walking through the city and he's on the car and they're like, No, none of this. Michelin Man. I don't know. Michelin Man. Hey, there, there's a flavor for you. Burnt rubber. So there you go. Drink power drinks because they're delicious, not because you think that they have any added value. Drink as many as you want. Don't let people tell you not to. If you need a quick little protein bar breakfast thing and you're like all your corny non-vegan friends, which you might be the corny non-vegan friend, you might say hello. Tell you that you got to have a quest bar or whatever. There's plenty of vegan versions of that stuff. Go with the soul good. And any other questions that you may have for me, Link it down below. I'm not trying to get too extensive in this video, you know? I'm all about the snacks, and I'm all about the facts. Woo! That rhymes. Bye. Well, the answer is always yes, and the snacks are always... Well, he didn't really die of dehydration, but he did go to the hospital for it twice, and he could have died, and then how bad would you feel? Fresh!